And this is our third year now, believe it or not. Coming into our third year on the farm, you really start to feel the seasons from the hot to the wet to the cold. And we're coming into my favorite time of year, which is the cold season. So this will sound weird now, but sometimes I walk around the garden at night time. It just interests me to see what creatures are about. And last night I was walking around this area here, just seeing like there's different like orb spiders that come out and different animals. And I was looking at this Kraton plant and um, I was just looking at the leaves. And then all of a sudden I see this just there, like looking at me in the night. Isn't it beautiful? It's just like a little, little bird. And at first I thought it's a baby. It can't, it can't move. And that's why it's not flying away from me. I thought it's just waiting for its mum or something. But actually it just flew away and I realized that it was just allowing me to, to film it. It sounds weird, but you capture all kinds of stuff at night. And now I have a better camera that works at night. I've been working on a few things, um, getting some very clear shots of the insects and the animals around. Because, I mean, I wish I could show you this place at night, the way it glows, the way it feels. Um, the cottage is just, it's peaceful and it's quiet. You come out here at night and the kids are asleep in bed. Damo's asleep. The boys are asleep. Everybody's safe, you know, wrapped up, happy. And uh, I come and I lock the gates and now I have an alarm system in here now just for extra safety so I set the alarms uh, they're just nighttime alarms uh, sensors for anybody like trying to come in or uh, through one of the gates and um, and I just feel it just feels peaceful all the little insects are around everything's doing the nighttime stuff the dogs are here all happy and, and chilling and it glows, the place glows at night time because the lights in the kitchen and the lights are the front porch of the, of the cottage. So it's a very magical place to be. Sometimes it's like living in a fairy tale or something. Uh, I think I mentioned it before, Carl Jung's house, which was very fairy tale like. Um, the way he, he did next to a lake, like a little fairy house. And uh, that was a big inspiration in what we've done here. So. And you ever wonder Days like these last With one another With the feeling pass Would you find out with me If it all starts to come Search the pieces for hope or a mumble. It's not. Right, what are we doing, babe? So today we're gonna go learn how to drive. My first time driving. First time learning how to drive in the new car. So here we go. You've never driven anything before, have you? <laughs> Just a motorbike. Push, push the key one more. Around. Bluetooth now the car is on. Before you just turn the electric on, that was the car on, yeah? So, first step then, that's go. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's that's the brake. Okay, and then that's gas, yeah. All right. And this one now. That's the handbrake. I'm gonna be turning left, so check the mirrors. Back mirror, left mirror. 
Okay, stop here, nothing coming. Check the mirror again. Okay, it's a nice L shape. Turn left, turn left, turn left. Good. Good. Straighten up, straighten up, straighten up, straighten up. Okay, that's good. Keep going, we're going to be turning a left turn, indicate left. Check the mirror, I'm really coming behind before you stop, stop. Yeah, that side and this side, yeah? So just make sure you get a good look. And then turn left. Check the mirror here. Okay, straighten up, straighten up, straighten up, straighten up. That's good. Okay, stop, baby in a pram. Right, that was too slow for the emergency stop. The emergency stop is, oh, there's, there's, a, there's a baby, yeah? Something like that. So keep going, keep going. Keep going, keep going. Stop, somebody coming. Stop. Going. Stop, somebody coming. Okay, that's better, but you can, don't be afraid to, to press the brake harder and faster than that. Because in an emergency, that's what you're going to have to do, yeah? Right, so how was your first lesson? Um, more easier than I thought. <laughs> right, that's too confident out oh, here. <laughs> no, it's <laughs> like uh, um, fun. <laughs> Just have fun. But not confident yet. So maybe like uh, four more times so I can go to the real world. Right. Oh, really? Jai. Oh, you're touching Jai Eng, Jai, Jai. You decide yourself. Uh, are you happy that uh, you're not driving a manual? Um, this one more easier. Is it a manual? And um, what do you think about your teacher? Oh, teacher is so great. <laughs> and you DJ my 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 crew law, can it name it? Hello. Crew DJ my <laughs> so um you've done one hour and already she said can i drive back on the main roads <laughs> yeah, i think i'm ready didn't you that's what we call manjai going by i drive back in the back road you drive back in the back road that's good i think it's okay but I don't think you've had challenge yet of any other cars coming or going to fast roads and things like that. But um, I think we need to do five or six more times and then we can start on the roads. Yeah, okay. <laughs> she wants everything today. Everything's so fast, yeah? All right. Good, well done. Thank you. Well done, well done. Now, by the way, if you're anything like us and you think it's time we took some actions to fix the planet, do stick around to the end of this vlog where we have some amazing video recommendations from our friends at Planet Wild that I think you'll really enjoy. I got the AS for a bit. Where's it from? I feel. <laughs> Don't people eat this? Yeah, I can. Yeah, jungle food. But this yeah. one, but this one is ugly, so we, we separate for some time and then this one we for should do a foraging vlog like show people what soon. you can get because it's raining now and then the jungle food load you know like maybe we go with the guy next door yeah he he go every day to find some jungle food okay. and that's very expensive because it's only one season rainy season so they fight they, they sell in the market too oh, let's get to the okay. rabbit So we'll take you out foraging. Some people actually in rural Thailand, they make a living out of it. They just go and forage and catch these jungle foods. Ant eggs, bugs, crickets, frogs. When it rains here, you can see all these lights, like and the dogs are going crazy with people with these head torches on because they're collecting all the frogs to eat. So we'll bring a, an element of this in. It's very interesting actually, rural Thailand for scavenging and what they actually eat. They eat snakes, they eat frogs, they eat they eat anything they get their hands on, to be honest. So, also today, as the rain's starting to come, the laundry's out. Hey, hey! We've got 3BB coming. So, I'm going to be putting in a, a new internet. We brought the truck here, and we're going to be getting a, 
fiber optic cable put in just to improve our internet and upload speeds and things like that. What do you have? So these guys are going to be installing that today. Big job. New internet, fast internet, yeah. They put in a fiber optic cable. They put the fiber optic, fiber cable, yeah. So that's the new internet. So they're going getting some lunch first. And we get that fast internet in. So just before we put Betty Blue up for sale, we're getting it checked out at the garage. I just had it cleaned inside and out too. And obviously I'll take the solar panel off and all my things out. But the main thing is that we get it checked out and we're not selling a lemon to anybody. The person that sold us their car, they were very honest and there was no problem with the car. So we want to do the same also and make sure whoever buys the car uh, doesn't have any issues. Looks like they're using some kind of fuel filter or changing a fuel filter. So let's see how it works out. I don't know anything about cars, but uh, these guys know what they're doing. So this is the fuel filter that they're just changing now. So that's it guys, she's been cleaned. She's been hoovered up inside and she's ready to go. Um, the garage said she's running in great order. The only thing that required was the uh, filter, the fuel filter. Uh, they charged me 500 baht for that. And uh, she's now ready to go. So we'll keep her covered. And I think we'll put her on Facebook Marketplace next. So all in all, we had new wheels put on, new shock absorbers, new windscreen wipers, new electric uh, windows, new air conditioner, motor, uh, just about everything was replaced on her. And now the fuel filter. So that's it. So finally, the, so finally the weather has got cold and the, the rains have come. Everything is wet and uh, if I, I just had to do the rabbit roof with some plastic on because they were getting wet in there. Um, it means we can start filming and farming again. So we have a lot of stuff to do on the land. There's a lot of stuff that needs clearing and you know how it is. Once you've left everything for, I mean, it's been about four months of just solid heat and it's been too hot to come and do anything, you know? So now that um the rains have come everything starts to get quite lush and we can start getting back to the garden and start caring for everything again um never underestimate the hot season next year for the for the hot season i'm going to make sure the whole internal space of the cottage is air conditioned not just the bedroom because we found ourselves kind of gathering in the bedroom just to get out of the heat and um that's not good you know you want to want to be have some space in the front room and stuff so the rabbits have just had a brand new clean um, a couple of babies in here they got a little hutch there that I built for them and this is mulberry bushes that I'm feeding them on and rabbit food and they're happy uh, one of them's got an infection in the bottom so I keep it's that brown one over there actually with his bottom to us so I've just got to keep an eye on it looks like it's healing but sometimes they can't make it through and it's because the floor got wet uh, the roof that we built leaked um, in the in the heavy storm so now it's got plastic on we should avoid that problem and now they, they dry they'll be able to take care of themselves better especially these little babies little cute babies still a little bit scared they don't have much human contact these babes um, but looking good looking nice for them Ducks are gone, so we're just keeping turkeys um, and chickens and the rabbits now and the pigs. So we've we've slowly been trying to cut down the animals just a little bit here and there. Um, we've got a, a chicken that's quite bad at off here. I don't know why. I think the others have picked its feathers out. Let's take a look. There it is. The others have seem to have pecked its feathers out, unfortunately. So I've separated it from the gang and let's see if we can 
we can improve it. There's always something guys, There's always something for the animals. Now, as I mentioned earlier, I've got a top tip for our viewers. We've now partnered with a new YouTube channel that I think you really don't want to miss. So Planet Wild, they release one video a month on their YouTube channel, and their mission is to go off and rewild areas that have been damaged by human activity. And if you haven't heard of them and you don't know them yet, check out these videos here where they go off 40 meters under the ocean and they transform a massive dying forest into a strong, resilient ecosystem. This is real world action and very entertaining and we're really excited to be partnering with them. They are driven by a community that anyone can join and anyone can help out. I think it's a really good work that they're doing. Thanks for anybody's support that goes over there and checks them out.